Uh, imagine spending seven years at MIT and research laboratories only to find out that, uh, that you're a performance artist. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, re I'm also a software engineer and I make lots of different kinds of art with the computer and, and I think the main thing that I'm, I'm interested in is trying to find a way of making the computer into a personal mode of expression. And, uh, Many of you out there are the heads of Macromedia and Microsoft, and, and um, in a way, those are my bane. I, I, I think uh, there's a great homogenizing force uh, that software uh, imposes on people and uh, limits the way they think about what's possible on the computer. Of course, it's also a great liberating force. It makes possible you know, publishing and so forth, and standards and so on. But uh, in a way, the computer is possible of, uh, it makes possible much more than what most people think. And uh, my art has just been about trying to find a personal way of using the computer. Uh, and so I end up writing software to do that. Um, Chris has asked me to do a uh, short performance. And so I'm going to take uh, just this time, maybe 10 minutes to do that. And hopefully at the end, have just a moment to show you a couple of my other projects in video form.
Thank you. I've got about a minute left. I, I'd just like to show a clip from a most recent project. Uh, I did a performance uh, with two singers who specialize in making strange no uh, noises with their mouths. And uh, this just came off last September at Ars Electronica. We repeated it in England. And uh, the idea was to visualize their speech and song behind them with a large screen. We used a computer vision tracking system in order to know where they were. And so since we know where their heads are and we have a wireless mic on them that we're processing the sound from, we're able to to uh, create visualizations which are linked very tightly to what they're doing with their speech. This will take about 30 seconds or so. Here we go. He's making a kind of cheek flapping sound. Well, suffice it to say, it's not all like that, but uh, it's part of it. Thanks very much. There's, there's always lots more. I'm over time, so I just wanted to say, uh, you can, if you're in New York, you can check out my work at the Whitney Biennial next week and also at Bitforms Gallery in Chelsea. And uh, with that, I think I should uh, give up the stage. So thank you so much.